And today we are grateful that we have, amen, the Spirit of God, amen, dwelling in our earthly vessel. We do come to the privilege and the blessing, amen, for being here, thanking him for coming by and giving us the strength that we need, amen. We look to him, realizing Jesus said, for without me, you can do nothing. Nothing. And that is such a reality. Praise the Lord. Now try doing it without Him and see what the end results will be. But I thank the Lord for blessing and touching us and giving us the strength. Amen. For us to be among the saints of God, among them that are sanctified and that are called by the name of the Lord. We solicit your prayers. We ask that you pray for us and pray with us Bless him, Lord. as we endeavor amen to speak a word from the Lord thank you Lord amen that it will fall on good ground yes so we solicit your prayers in Jesus name today we're going to go right into the word of the Lord we'd like to call your attention today to the book of Acts chapter number nine Lord. Acts chapter number nine. Praise the Lord. Acts chapter number nine. When you have it, let it be known by saying amen. amen. Acts chapter number nine. Praise the Lord. I'll read. And Saul, so, yet breathing, our threatenings and slaughter against the disciples of the Lord went unto the high priests and desired of him letters to Damascus to the synagogues that if, that if he found any of this way whether they were men or women he might bring them bound unto Jerusalem and as he journeyed, he came near Damascus, and suddenly there shined round about him a light from heaven. Mm -hmm. And he fell to the earth, and heard a voice saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? And he said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest. It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. And he trembling and astonished said, Lord, what will thou have me to do? And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the city, and it shall be told thee what thou must do. Verse 15. But the Lord said unto him, Go thy way. For he is a chosen vessel unto me to bear my name before the Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel. For I will show him how great things he must suffer for my name's sake. And we say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And we say praise the Lord again. Praise the Lord. Use for a title today, God has a plan for your life. Amen. God has a plan for your life. Amen. Praise the Lord. We see here in the word of God, young man by the name of Saul, mm -hmm. whose name later on was changed to Paul. Yes. If I recall right in Acts chapter number 8, Matter of fact, Acts chapter number 7, as Stephen was preaching to the Sanhedrin court. And he was reminiscing to them, amen, what God did starting with Abraham. But as he went on to preach, I believe in verse number 51 in Acts chapter 7, mm -hmm. amen, the, the discussion got heated. Praise the Lord. And Stephen said, ye stiff then, uncircumcised and heart, uncircumcised in heart, and ears, and ears. Ye do always, you do always, resist the Holy Ghost. You always resist.
resist the Holy Ghost. As your fathers did. Uh, as your fathers did. So do ye. Uh, the same way your fathers did, that's the same thing you're doing. You're stiff now. Uh, always resist the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Read. Which of the prophets. Which of the prophets. Have not your fathers persecuted. Have not your father persecuted. And they have slain them. And they have slain them. Which showed before. Which showed before. Of the coming. Of the coming. Of the just one. Of the just one. The prophets have prophesied that there was a just one coming. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. But many of the prophets were slain. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Read. Of whom. Of whom. Ye have been now, now betrayers, the betrayers and murderers and murderers who have received the law who have received the law by the disposition of angels by the disposition of angels and have not kept, and have not kept it when they heard these things when they heard these things they were caught to their heart they were caught to their heart and they gashed on him now uh, they gnashed on him with their teeth with their teeth but he but he being
in the word. See, the Lord said persecution. Uh huh. Amen. That the saints will be scattered abroad. Yeah. All right. Man. Amen. Because Jesus said, Amen. This gospel of the kingdom must be preached, must be preached yeah. for a witness. Yeah. Uh, in all nations, uh -huh. in all the earth. Mm -hmm. uh, but it had to start at Jerusalem. Hallelujah. But I want you to know, Amen. Even in the days of Jesus, they tried to shut him up. That's right, man. Hey, Yeah. 
him into Damascus. And brought him to the same city. Yeah. That he had permission to go to. Yeah, yeah. To shut the church down. Uh -huh. He left sin. Yeah. But he entered the city blind. That's right. Don't mess with God. Yeah. Really did good. And he was there three days. He was there three days. Without sight. Without sight. Neither did he eat nor drink. I said, I 
Jesus. Oh, yes. Oh, hallelujah. Start fasting and praying. Yes, Lord. And see if God don't show you things. That's right. Things that you don't understand. That's right. Things that you have questions about. Uh -huh. Sometimes the Lord suffers certain things to happen so that we can go and fast and pray. Yes, Lord. See, the Lord wants our attention. Hallelujah. But sometimes we so busy we ain't got time for it. Yeah. So sometimes he suffers certain things to happen. That's right. Because he said, I won't see you at noonday prayer. Mm -hmm. Uh, I miss seeing you down on your knees Hello. when trouble rises. Yeah. Uh, I hear you calling my name when trouble was rising. But now trouble don't cease in your life. Yeah. You don't need prayer to need it no more. Hello. Oh, hallelujah. But the Bible said, uh, I believe somebody quote the song, I found the answer. Yeah. I learned to pray. With faith to guide me. Oh. I learned the way the sun is shining me. on me this day. Because God is 
concerned about the poor. That's right. That's right. Every time the poor people cry out, God listen. Yeah. Because you got leaders taking advantage of the poor folks. Yes, they are. Trying to take something from the poor folks yeah. that they need. That's right. God gonna visit you. Oh yes. Every leader that treats the poor wrong. God said when they cry out to me, mm -hmm. I got to avenge them. That's right. Uh, because they can't fend for themselves. That's right. So for as much as a fool can't fend for themselves, God said, I got to fight for them. Gotta fight. And when God moved in, praise the Lord. And when he hears their cry, yeah. that's why the church got to treat people right. That's right. Uh, but the poor, red, yellow, black, or white. Doesn't matter. Uh, there is no one. Division should be. No, sir. No division in the house of God. No, sir. It's not a black church. No, sir. Come on now. Oh, man. One day. It's not a white church. No, sir. But it's a church of Jesus Christ. Yes. yes. And in the body of Christ, people will be coming from every nation. Every nation. That's the book. Whether you're Chinese, mm -hmm. Japanese, mm -hmm. uh, folks from South America, mm -hmm. folks from North America. Yes, sir. Folks from Europe, mm -hmm. folks from Africa, yeah. it doesn't matter with God. What matters with God is those that fear God yes. and keep his commandments. He will have a representative from every corner of the earth. Hallelujah. But the church got to treat people right. Yeah. But one thing the church must never do, never compromise. Compromise. Never. Yet will I trust him. Mm -hmm. All the days of my appointed 
How many can say today, don't you slay me? Uh, oh, hallelujah. Come on. Don't the situation continue, but yeah. I still trust him. Yeah. I made up. If I continue to suffer and be persecuted, can I say, don't you slay me? Yeah. yeah. The furnace is seven times hot. Mm. And you got problem after problem. My Lord, my when Lord. one trouble is over, another trouble starts. My Lord. Will you still trust God when the bills are piling up? Mm. Will you still trust God when you don't see where the food is coming from? My Lord. But if you live right, yeah. you ain't got to worry about what to eat. That's right. What to wear. Hallelujah. 